What's going on everybody? St. Piper here, AKA Black Native. I'm feeling real good today, but I wanna know how you doing. Good, all things working for your good. That's good family, all things working for mine as well. Thanks for asking. As you can see, the sun is setting. I'm down in Louisiana. Okay, I'm on my way home. It's a Friday, it's the end of the week. And I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking about how many people are spiritual or who are waking themselves up or or they may be thinking of different hidden knowledge and occult wisdom to take them to another level, but they still ignore the animal spirits. Now you may pray to the ancestors, you might know different aspects of invocation or different ways to ask for help from the universe but a lot of people do still ignore the animal spirits in a way that the energy from different animals can affect your life and help you in many ways especially when you are ascending all right so to me that's my basis my basis when it comes to spirituality is animals since a little kid I was always the type of person to read animal books when my mom would take us to the library um, you know throughout the year especially during the, over the summer she would make us read I would always grab animal books I used to read a lot about sharks I used to read you know Jane Goodall I used to watch Shark Week on on Discovery Channel Animal Planet different things like that I was always into the to the mother nature but mostly the animals um, and you know I learned a lot I learned what they are what they do the names of them where they live and most importantly as I got older and more spiritual I, I learned what they represented traditionally and what they represent for me that's important because when you the animals are only archetypes and examples of who we could be. See, as people, we have the ability to be any way. We have the ability to think any thought. We have the ability to be great. We have the ability to be mediocre. We have the ability to be uh, ferocious. We have the ability to be lackadaisical and pray. So we have the ability to invoke these different energies to receive different spirits to imitate different animals and use those imitations those invocations to actually develop ourselves more uh more perfectly so for instance right now you see right here my black jaguar you know that's one of the main spirits or animal energies that i like to be in contact with you know i like to have this particular energy for my life um, and it everybody's gonna have a different animal that they're drawn to everyone's gonna have a different set of animals that come and visit them in real life that for some reason when you see those animals is more than just you looking at an animal it speaks to you it gives you some kind of encouragement it gives you some kind of a message or even a thought or a feeling and that's what the Jaguar always did for me and more importantly uh, the black Jaguar um, so I'm challenging everybody out there to, you know, if you have a favorite animal, study that animal. Don't just look at it and like it, but study why, study it, and maybe it'll make sense why you appreciate that animal so much. A big part of our design, you know, is our preference. The things that we prefer, the things that we are attracted to, the things that we uh, favor, actually are built into us you know some people love chicken some people love beef some people don't like to eat any animals and they've always been that way right but i believe that the preferences that we have and the things that we like to do and the things that we are attracted to is determined by our purpose that we are supposed to serve based upon our divine design see what i'm saying is if you understand why you like certain animals, why certain 
tribal and primal energies uh you know arouse you or maybe you might be attracted to them so much maybe it'll help you to understand yourself and most likely it will help you to understand yourself your capabilities okay your spiritual uh gifts and your psychic abilities these are the things that will help you level up to a higher level knowing your animals is also super important when it comes to receiving messages because animals represent different ideas especially depending on the culture and the way that you see that animal a lot of ancient cultures you know even we're gonna stay in america's the aztecs the incas the mayans the olmecs right the tupi tribes uh the navajo you know the cherokee every every major civilization before you know modern day they all valued revered and basically had a real connection with animals and you could see it in the art you could see it in the religion the language the cultures it was very apparent that they had respect not only respect but also admiration and some kind some kind of uh divinity associated with different animals so if they were so advanced and wise and have so much power and knowledge and they did you know they they showed their respect and they honored mother nature that's something we should do today as black natives as well so you know if you're not a person that's big on animals and studying them this is just some encouragement to go forward because that may be the knowledge or the pathway to unlock your next level i know for me that's my basis that's my basis so i feel at home studying animals learning about them knowing what they mean knowing the names knowing the areas that they live in you know it's super important and the animals always have a strong connection with the people of the land understand that remember what i said the animals always have a strong connection with the people of the land they influence the people of the land because they are a part of the environment you know in Genesis, God created the He created the heavens, the waters, the whole landscape. Then He created the life, mother, the nature, the the plants, the animals inside it, on that landscape. And then He created man. So all of those things were already here. They were a part of the environment, and those things, because they were a part of the environment, influenced man. They influence us every day. So. For you to know these animals is literally to know the, the forces that are influencing you because these animals are just physical representations of the energies that are that are present and available in our environment. So who would want to be influenced by something without knowing it? Who would want to be constantly bombarded with different energies without knowing it and not even knowing which ones are affecting them? No one, no one wants that. Everyone likes to at least be able to make uh, good decisions, you know, because they know what's going on. That's the same way with this. Take your time out. Know why you would like that animal. Know why, uh, you know, what certain animals exist and go forward. This is St. Piper here, AKA Black Native. Doing my best to keep these videos under 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, man. This is something that you you can look into. You can go on Google, learn some certain things about the animals, but also, you know, we are spiritual and energetic beings. So we don't have to rely on Google. When you look at an animal, what do you think of? What do you feel? And that's what that animal could represent for you in your life at a particular time. That's what I'm saying. This is about that connection. To me, the black jaguar represents you know the underworld the name of my jaguar right here is actually anubis you know because anubis was a representation of the underworld anubis was the black dog and the word jaguar in comes from the tupi word jaguar and tupi is you know was in america's all of south america that nation and jaguar just means dog so um that's why i call him anubis because if he's a black Yagua, then he's a black dog, just like the Egyptian god in Africa, Anubis. 
you see how because of this one animal i get to see uh basically the connection between the ancient americas and the ancient and ancient africa whereas the jaguar or the jaguar is a dog you know the that's literally the interpretation of the tupi people in the south americas they call it the jaguar with a y jaguar which means dog and then in africa they call anubis anubis is was a dog he was a black dog so that's why you know here you go the black jaguar is just anubis to me a black dog it's the same thing that can happen for you once you start to value and pay attention to your environment and the na and the mother nature aspects of spirituality. I love y'all. St. Piper here. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of the community. And I wish the best to y'all on y'all spiritual journey. Keep going.